That's a good ball to start with. Shahid Afridi on strike. Chance and well taken. Very good catch there by Azaruddin. Moving away to his right. And that's a good start for Venkatesh Prasad. A very good take by Azaruddin. That is the risk Pakistan really have to take uh, with Shahid Afridi opening the innings. Fleshy outside the off stump. Not in control and a very good catch by Mohammad Azruddin. Had to dive. His eyes on the ball. So early exit for uh, the Pakistani opener. Shahid Afridi gone for not. And Pakistan one for one. Razak off the mark. Pakistan three for one. Very good change of pace there from Ajit Agurka. Not picked by Imran Nazir and he hit it straight to Jadeja. A change of pace there from uh, Ajit Agurka and uh, getting the wicket this time. He early struggled against the South Africans when he changed uh, the pace on the delivery. Abdul Zak just a little late in realizing that it was a slow delivery. Early into the shot, swooping the ball in the air and an easy catch straight in the covers for Ajay Jadeja. So Pakistan lose another wicket, the second, and now they are five for two. Well, that's sweetly timed. Long chase for Robin Singh. Imran Nazir is a young fellow that uh, came of age for me. He was only 18 when he got there, but he's a tremendous player. And uh, he got a couple of 50s in, in uh, the Pakistan side going in first. And for somebody as young as that, I mean, I think he was a very organised player. And it, it, it bodes well. It's a good scenario. It's a, it's a good competition for young players to go and cut their teeth. Beautifully punched by Imran Nazir off the back foot. He's been run out 31 times. He has been involved in uh, running out his partners as well, but uh, of late he's been uh, pretty firm with his calling, Inzi. He's a very good timer, Imran Nazir. That's absolutely raced away. This was a top stroke from uh, Imran Nazir. Beautiful timing. Good shot. Oh, and it's gone straight through the hands of... Robin Singh, that was just purely the pace that that ball had on it. It was struck very firmly. It's again uh, middle by Imran Nazir, though it went uh, in the air and through the hands of uh, Robin Singh at point. He was just a little late to react to that. It was uh, curling away from uh, the fielder as well. And that's picked away on the onside. Chase for Tendulkar, but the ball will beat him to the boundary. to wait for the Empire signal here no signal so he reckons the ball did hit the bat then the pad bit of frustration here for the batsman he can't get him away so he's trying to improvise here and he's called it correctly but it was on him a lot quicker so that's a good sign for Kumble didn't get too much bat to it, it was more the glove which means it's skidded on That's nicely struck down the ground. Good timing from Nazir. The outfield just seems to have quickened up a bit. The crowd enjoying it. Just seemed a gentle push. That's a lovely shot. It's not an easy shot to play when you rock back and you have to ride with the heart of the delivery. Keep on top of it but also get it straight back past the bowl. Look, he's initially come forward. That's very good acceleration through the hitting area. Nicely timed and nicely placed. One just got the feeling that that must have missed leg stump. It 
it's Joshi now to Inzamam. And that's swept fine. Agarkar giving chase, but the ball beats him to the boundary. Well, not a great start by Sanal Joshi. He'd be disappointed with that. Inzimam just got a little bit of an under edge on this. He's looking to hit it fine because he knows that the fielder is quite square and he's up as well. So he's looking to hit it fine. The thought process was good. A little under edge. And he's got the right result. Now there could be a mix up here. And the batsman's done well there, Imran Nazir, in coming in the way of the throw. Now, had he not done that, it would have been disaster for Pakistan. 49 for two, Kumble continuing here. And that's head up in the air. That'll clear mid on. And clear the boundary line too. It's a good positive blow here from Imran Nazir. He went through with the shot and got plenty of bat on it. So the crowd enjoying it. This is a good counter-attack by Pakistan. Good positive strike. And more runs here. Joshi giving chase. He'll cut it off just inside the boundary line. No, he won't. And a very ordinary effort there. Kumle isn't happy. He would have expected his fielder to slide there and save one run for the side. Oh, is that? Napil uh, hitting him outside the off stump. But uh, good counter attack uh, by the youngster Imran Nazir. Really in control. Had a good look at uh, Kumle's bowling and then went uh, high through uh, mid on for a wonderful six. Setting him outside uh, the off stump. Four runs and over in these conditions is not exactly great, but they've got a fair bit of batting. And this young man is playing pretty well at the moment. Imran Nazir, 42 or 49 balls. The majority of the runs of his bat. Oh, this will be close. He had to hit. A direct hit there would have had him out. And it would have been his own fault. The non-striker there, Inzamam, responding well to his call, but it was optimistic. Yes, Imran, uh, well, he did have to get to the danger end, and uh, he took the chance, hoping that uh, there wouldn't be a direct hit. Playing the ball with soft hands and quickly away. And a direct hit would have uh, certainly seen uh, the end of the youngster, but he's still there. Well played, Inzamam just stroking it away on the offside. As while mid on and mid off are deep, then uh, there are going to be ones in that area all the time. Yes, ones down into this area all the time. Oh, yes, That's bowled him. That has bowled him. Well, just when he was beginning to look dangerous. Just have to try and pick holes in this one. I think he was probably trying to flick it away a little bit. Shoshi uh, doing the damage. Good start for him. Well, he'll be disappointed in that. Let's have another look at it. Yes, yeah, playing across the line. Uh, Imran Azir trying to work the ball away towards the onside. Uh, and playing uh, not with a straight bat, but with an angled uh, bat and beaten uh, with a flight as well. A good innings of 43 coming to an end. Uh, Pakistan 62 for three as players take drinks. Raja is a very emotional place. I mean, you know, often you find people coming to our uh, hotel lobby and uh, just telling us, look, lose to everyone, don't lose. So, I mean, there is that extra pressure that you're carrying. Yusuf Yohana, I think, uh, is it fair to say, Ramiz, that uh, he's emerging as one of the really promising young players or sort of come through that period of where he was being looked at? I wonder if he'll make it and all of a sudden he's there. I think he's uh, done a lot of good in the recent past. He's uh, played uh, a couple of uh, very good knocks in Australia, also against Sri Lanka on a testing pitch in Peshawar. He really played Murli then with a lot of authority. Only 17.4 overs bowled. Well, there's that fine one again. Well, they're getting some runs in that area. Need a 
a good partnership now. Down the wicket he goes, good shot over the top of cover, not quite off the middle of the bat. The ball spinning around in this, uh, well, it's quite a strong wind here today, and that one certainly got under the breeze a little bit, not off the middle of the bat, but Inzamam, I think, was trying to hit it straight over the top of Midoff's head. Oh, well played, that's a bit short, and that's pulled away, that's four. That's very good timing. He did well to make uh, the most of that delivery. Wasn't that bad a ball. Five runs off the over. 76 for three. Oh! He's got that fine. That's frustrating for the bowler. 25 overs have been bowled. Pakistan 91 for three. Ken in Zamam, they're looking for the elevation, not getting it. He's been looking for that pull shot a lot. It's a pretty good contest at the moment. I think uh, Tendulkar's trying to trap him LBW with a quicker one. In Zamam looking for the pull shot. Good battle. The use of Yahana playing sensibly here. Runs coming in singles in this over. So the 100 coming up for Pakistan with that single. And that's the score after 27 overs. Oh. Now this is close. A definite run out here. In fact, Inzamam's going to the other end. And he might just be saved here. But the third empire will be called for. Now, what will be interesting to see is when the ball hit the stumps on the full. It might just be a case that both the batsmen have not made their ground. I didn't think either uh, batsman was in at the non-striker's end. Inzamam had moved out of his crease. I'm not sure why he hadn't gone back to his crease. Yusuf Yohana suddenly decided that he was going. Sabah Karim's throw is hit. Now... One of them's got to be out. But I don't think he's called for the third umpire. Now, that's really surprising. I think Inzamam is out here. I, uh, I'm not too sure about the law, but I have a sneaking feeling that Inzamam might be the one to go. Yes, just seeing from that angle, Ian... I think I might have to change my mind because uh, you can't see Johanna really crossing in Zamam. From this angle, you feel that he's crossed him. Now, the batsmen have to cross. Now, if Johanna has crossed in Zamam and the third empire sees it, now this will give you a clear picture. He hasn't really crossed in Zamam from this angle. His bat's still behind in Zamam's. And the ball hits the stumps there. Okay, now they got the problem. He flashes up the, the light, but who's going to go? Because that won't tell the umpire out in the middle who's it, which one's got to go. Yes, he's going to tell the third umpire. In fact, the third umpire will have a chat with Peter Manuel and tell him that Johanna is out. Now, these are situations you don't see often on a cricket ground both batsmen running towards the same end one angle giving you an impression that Johanna had not crossed in Zamam another angle tells you something different but the third empire has made his decision one batsman had to go that was for sure Johanna has to pay the price for it and Pakistan have lost their fourth wicket goes the finger it's in Zamam now so what an over for the Indians just a little while ago Johanna was given run out in Zamam was his partner and to the very next delivery in Zamam looking to cut Robin Singh he's got an edge and Sabah Karim has made no mistake 
Well, Inzamam should have been given out, run out uh, in my book. One ball later, he's gone, just getting a little feather touch there. Saba Karim standing up, has taken the catch, and I think uh, Inzamam had his concentration disturbed by the run out. It's now 108 for five. One thing you do know, nothing will affect this man's concentration. Mohan Khan uh, coming in to replace Inzamam, who got that little feather touch. I really do think that uh, Inzamam should have been out in the run out anyhow. Moin wants to, and he'll get it. Now that's something you'll see immediately happening. The running between the wickets will improve. Yes, he plays some great knocks, Moen Khan, down the order. He really does. Oh, and that's bowled him. He's dragged it back onto the stumps. The Indians, oh, it's all happening here. Well, they are dancing in the aisles now. Wickets are falling in quick succession. Anil Kumble getting one of his classical wickets, just getting the ball to slip on inside edge back onto the off stump. Oh, there's an experience has shown here. Young man just come to the crease. He's hardly got used to the pace of the wicket. And Kumble has slipped the quicker one in. He's trying to cut it to his too full a length and it also went to him too quickly. The six wicket is down now. 110 for six. Was him at Graham. He's been around a very long time now. Knows his situations. Doesn't often come in before uh, 30 overs though. A lot of batting to be done if they want to get out of this one. Yes, if he's sensible now, he'll just quietly play himself in, just get used to the conditions a little bit and work it out. They've got to stay here now. They've got to use up all 50 overs. Down the wicket he goes. Beautifully played. Six. Great shot. Wide of mid-off. Well, Barry Richards picked that one perfectly. A couple of steps. Whack. Over the top. And it went sailing away. And that's the end of the over, 118 for six. Ajita Gurkha continuing. Oh, and that beats the outside edge. They've asked the question. There must have been a little noise there, but uh, the umpire not convinced. Plenty of support behind the wickets, but I think you'll find a Gurkha here. He really wasn't all that interested. Let's see, it's gone off the seam, and I think it's missed the outside edge. Keeper has gone up straight away. Oh, good shot. That's beautifully played through the onside. It's running away. That'll go for four. Lovely timing from Wazim Akram. A little bit too straight, that ball. And uh, he likes it there. We know that. But uh, it's still got to be hit. It's got to be hit in the right place. And that was, uh, well, that was beautifully played. Oh, it's bowled him. Clean bowled him. No snickometer required there. That one smashed the stumps down, and that's a big wicket. India needed another one. Wazi Makram is on his way. Yes, the new ball's done the trick, and very smart captaincy again by Ganguly. He's brought the uh, fast bowler Prasad back on. It was just a matter of time how long uh, Wazi Makram could contain himself. He couldn't. He tried to whack it over the top, little inside edge, and seven down for Pakistan now, 128. Bakar Yunus has come out to the centre. And the last man to be dismissed, the dangerous Akram. Trying to force the pace for Seam Akram, uh, getting inside it and uh, the ball crashing onto that off stump. Now this could be big trouble. Bakar Yunus was diving back into his crease to make his ground but I just get the feeling that the bat slipped out of his hand he's lost balance and when his elbow hit the turf he lost control of the bat and uh, for the Indians luckily it was a direct hit well, uh, Waka Yunus backing up a little too far Moin Khan calling early there you see him just slipping a little bit because he was running on that greenish strip and a direct hit and he was away from that crease so good work done by Sunil Joshi. Indians have been uh, on target. Great agility shown by the fielding. It's gone for naught, and uh, Pakistan now reeling 128 for eight. 
Robin Singh now continuing. Good time for him to bowl. Pakistan are losing wickets. Last man to be dismissed, Wakar Yunus. Again, a misunderstanding causing a run out. Well, yes, Moin Khan playing the ball towards mid on and uh, early call. A wait, and there you see him just sliding and slipping, Wakar Yunus. He's not run running on the actual wicket, but uh, just next to it, which uh, is pretty green in nature. He'll get the single on that occasion, Moin Khan. The situation he's batting for Pakistan at the moment, very similar to what Jadeja was yesterday for the Indians. How is that? Now that's going to be close. Power Hampshire reckoning that that would have missed leg stump, but he was attempting the pull shot, always dangerous against Kumble when he first come in. He has the ability to slide that delivery in quickly into the right hander. Yes, quicker through the air, Neil Kumble bowling it uh, just a little short so that the batsman is enticed to play across the line, just a little high up on the thigh. How is that? It's normally in one day cricket, uh, you're looking for the opposition to make mistakes, but uh, Ganguly has really controlled things here. Let's not let Pakistan build up partnerships, good field placing as well as, well as a good. Oh, yes! That's through his defence. Slight change of pace there. That was pitched up by Kumble. And in the end, it was too good for Arshad Khan. So another wicket has fallen here. High back lift, and you can't afford to uh, do that against Anil Kumble. It was quicker through the air, full length. And the off stump rattled. So a good bowling change once again from uh, the Indian captain Arshad Khan been picked bowled by Kumble in Pakistan 131 for 9. That's chipped in the air but in the gap as well. That's going down towards the boundary. Robin Singh will just pull it back. So three runs added to the score. Shoy Bakhtar will keep the strike, 135 for 9. Well, this young man's ball pretty well, there could be a mix-up here. Oh, he's missed the stumps. Missed the stumps and a chance really down the other end as well. So once again, Pakistan getting themselves into a bit of a tangle with the running between the wickets. Because I think he would have been out here. Let's have a look at it. Shoaib was uh, taking off, and then suddenly uh, Mohan sent him back. That throw probably would have run him out, and then Tendulkar saw that Mohan Khan was watching with great interest, not getting back in his crease. Oh, and that beats the slip fieldsman, and it's four. Mohamed Azradin standing quite wide there. And Whenever I see that, I wonder why the keeper didn't go. We'll have to um, have another look at that one. Azra Din was quite wide, went to his left, but no movement from the keeper. Yes, it's a matter of working it out between the keeper and the uh, slip fielder. I think on that occasion, it was a catch for the, uh, the slip fielder. Didn't quite carry. Down the wheel he goes. This is in the air, going down to long on. One bounce. Kumble on the boundary. This Moen Khan has uh, <laughs> obviously decided that uh, they need a boundary or two. How is that? Oh, and uh, that's close. Yes, he's given him out. He's given him out. Uh, Hampshire just looking down the uh, pitch there. He's not happy, actually. I, I just wonder whether there mightn't have been a bit of bat in that one. Moen Khan uh, looking pretty uh, upset about that decision. He just kept walking. I think he really should only be upset with one person. That's himself. And I think he may well be cranky with himself. Because what it's a full toss. There's no, uh, nothing wrong with the shot selection. Got his foot a long way across. And he was trying to belt it through uh, the mid-wicket area. But that's hit him uh, oh, a good uh, 12, 15 centimetres above the ground. So it was a full toss that he missed.
So we know India and Pakistan don't get to play too often in their own countries. So Sharjah is an ideal opportunity for them to get together and play. Sure, they are a little bit worried about the reaction of the crowds in India or Pakistan when they, why they don't play against each other in, in, in their own country. And they have lots of Indians and Pakistan is in charge of. But I think it's a slightly different atmosphere. They go out and they create a great atmosphere, yes, but they don't get themselves into trouble. There is no animosity between the two factions. And I think that's what you're looking for in sport. And I think Sharjah is ideal for that. They always have exciting games and the crowd gets involved, but at the same time they get involved in a sporting manner, never any animosity, which is great. Well said, Michael. Sharjah is a great venue, and India-Pakistani matches are always very special indeed. India need 147 to win at 2.94 runs per over. The top four, Azruddin, Tendulkar, Dravid and Ganguly, will all be determined to secure a win for India this time. The sixth for them since Sharjah began. The pressure on the Pakistani bowlers. Saurav Ganguly is about to face the fourth ball of Vaseem Akram's first over, just one run on the board. The Pakistani bowlers will have to keep the pressure on the Indian batsmen by bowling as straight as possible. They'll be just a little bit uh, in the pitch here initially with the new ball. That's two Tendulkar. That's an absolute beauty from Bakar Yunus. And what a way to end the over. Three for no loss. That's sweetly timed. So the first boundary of the Indian innings hit by the Indian captain. This was a beautiful stroke from Saurav Ganguly. He went straight through mid on this time. Waiting for that ball to uh, straighten and then nice punch. Mid on was just a little square for Ganguly, picking up the gap quite beautifully there. Again, good timing by Ganguly. Should get two. Slow delivery and nicely hit into the gap. He picked that up quickly and just stroked it through the offside. So another boundary to end the over. 17 for no loss to score. That's crashed through the offside. He got the width, Ganguly. And he had a good stride going forward. He had to stretch out, but he still managed to time it well. Just pulled back inside the boundary. But the Indian settled for two. And really, I think, uh, Ramiz, the time has come for Moin Khan to seriously think about getting uh, his fastest bowler, Shoaib Akhtar, into the attack. That's right. Wasim Akram is uh, definitely struggling con to control the line. His bowl couple on the off stump. They're providing Sachin Tendulkar the luxury to play through the onside this time. A slow delivery and put away. Tendulkar waited on it. Just that little bit longer. The Royal Pindi Express has got the ball in his hand. Now can he get a wicket? That's what Pakistan need. Thirty without loss. Some wonderful shots have already been played. Straight to him. This will be a run out. Ten Dorcas halfway down the pitch. Oh, if a direct hit there would have had him. Ten Dorcas trying to get Ganguly off strike. Halfway down the pitch, and he was sent back. Well, certainly, there's no doubt that Ten Dorcas was trying to do the right thing by his partner and get him off strike. But uh, Ganguly had been forced well back. He started to run and then saw that there was no chance. Yusuf Johanna there very quickly picked up the fact there was a chance for a run out at the other end. But uh, Abdul Razak hadn't got up behind the stumps properly. 
Oh, good shot again. Straight down the ground for four. That's a beautiful drive on the up. He's already hit one down the ground on the other side. That's lovely timing. Two balls to go in this over. Ganguly on 25 off 31. Tendulka has received 21 balls for 11. Oh, he's got him, Guess caught behind, caught behind. All that fluffing around with the sideboard at the other end. And, uh, well, it gave Akram just a little bit of time to think about it, to relax. And he bowled that delivery just outside off stump, just short of a length. And Ganguly that time was just trying to steer it to third man. A big deflection and a big wicket. No doubt that his concentration was disturbed here. And he really reached for that ball. Good catch taken there by Mohan Khan. Got it right in the middle of the gloves. And Wazim Akram was pretty pleased to get his man. It's 39 for one. He was the man who got um, Ganguly hopping around a little bit. And eventually that resulted in a wicket at the other end. That's quite often what happens with uh, genuine speed bowlers. They really uh, get things going and they can get wickets for bowlers at the other end. Nothing to do with that one. So two deliveries so far. Oh, well bowled. Yes, he's given him. He's given him. Oh, Sachin's out. Sachin's gone. What a wicket is. Shower back to, has done his stuff. If he doesn't bowl another ball today, he's got the danger man out and they're dancing in the aisles again. The Pakistan supporters are loving every second of this. Sachin Tendulkar, out LBW. Terrific piece of bowling from Shoaib Akhtar. He had a big hand in getting rid of Ganguly, and now he's got rid of Sachin Tendulkar. And that was uh, right in line with about middle stump. And the aeroplane takes off as Sachin Tendulkar leaves the ground. It's 41 for two. Shoaib Akhtar to Mohamed Azraddin. Oh, well, bold, big appeal for LBW. Did he get some bat on that one? The umpire says yes, he did. A little bit of bat on that one. Boy, what a good ball. First up. Well, it's not just pace. There's swing to contend with as well. Well, the bat was nowhere near that. But uh, I think it was probably going to miss leg stump, but uh, it was given as hits. And it wasn't even close to being hits. Oh, well, bowled. Beats the outside edge. Two slips in position there. Abdul Razak replacing him. And a loose nut. And Mohamed Azaruddin has put that away. Well, we mentioned a little while earlier, Shoaib Akhtar bowled some quick balls today. Have a look at this. That was clocked at 155.3 kilometers per hour. That's 96.5 miles. It has to be one of the quickest balls of the year. Brett Lee was around that mark in Australia. So this might well be the fastest delivery. That's nicely timed. Good feeling from Johanna. We have it uh, here on record that uh, he might just have bowled the fastest ball of the year. You see, consistently bowling at 90, 90 plus miles per hour, 155.3, that's in kilometers. We move to miles simply because uh, he's one bowler who could be close to that 100 miles per hour mark. And he's proved it today, 96.5. And that's the second fastest ball ever recorded. A 
just wonder, a lot of people watching, what it feels like to face somebody and how much reaction time you've got. They worked it out. It's probably 0.4 of a second. I suppose if you change your mind, you've got even less, Rolly. Always dangerous to bowl on Azruddin's pads, particularly when it's a slower ball. Change of pace from Abdul Razak. Trying out everything out there in the middle to get a wicket. A full toss on the pads of Azaruddin, nicely played, waiting for that delivery to come. Didn't quite middle it, but uh, found the gap and importantly came back for two runs. 29 of 73. Well, that's an excellent shot. Just showing that he can play through the offside as well as the onside. Yes, this one was played with a lot of confidence. Uh, Azruddin making sure that he uh, finds the gap this time on the offside. On the up and uh, nicely balanced. Hitting through the line. Up the Razak, struggling just a little. Slow delivery and then uh, just a little uh, wider one on the off stump. That's an excellent shot from Azaruddin. Dravid playing very well off his pads on that occasion. India just starting to break the shackles. Not a very good delivery from Abdul Razak. It was against Pakistan. The difficult stage was later on. Against Pakistan in Sharjah, if I was given a choice, I would want to open a bat number three. Maybe a couple of overs from Wasim Akram would be a handful. But uh, an attack like Pakistan would really be intimidating or really potent say around the 30th over, so when the ball was about semi-new and they had done some work on it, uh, getting one side rough. And uh, we've seen some great uh, exhibition of skill, a lot of swing and great yorkers. So not necessarily that the new ball attack would be a handful. Very important match for them to win. They lost the first one. Into the gap and that's four. Beautifully played away on the offside by Mohamed Azraddin. He really didn't try and hit that one too hard. Just opened the face on it just to make sure he got it through the gap and it was four. And uh, a misfield will result in four. That's very poor from Wako Yunus. I know he's had uh, quite a bit of bowling to do, but he's in the wrong position. There's a man at short cover, saving the single, and he's quite a long way inside the circle. When Ezra Din hits this delivery, he's off for a single anyway. And watch where Wacko Yunus, you don't even see the plates coming into play. He's too close. He can afford to drop back into the circle there. And he's done that now. Too late, it's given away four. Show a back door back into the attack as well. This should be fun. Let's keep an eye on his speed. In he comes now. Oh, a short delivery. Nicely left to, to the keeper as well. Wide signal. Wide signal. Wide? It's got to be a no ball if it's anything. It went straight past his nose. Now, that's a very ordinary decision. I think he panicked a little bit when everybody turned around and looked at him. From, from a commentary point of view, it's just alive. It's, it, it's electric. You can almost feel it when you go there. Pakistan versus India. You know the, the fervence and and the and the, the 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 pitch with which is the supporters support their team. They they really want their team to do well, and uh, I think that lends itself to a, another dimension to cricket. There's nowhere else in the world where you can get uh, such a buzz out of uh, the spectators being there. You, it, it's it's almost like they create an air of electricity. If you had an electric rod going there, it would just blow up because of the. The expectation when Sachin goes in or, or Saeed Anwar or, or Wazim gets the ball, 
Uh, I don't think I've experienced it anywhere else in the world, and it's, uh, it's something that, that really brings the best out of, of everybody. I mean, I, I wish it would happen in more places in the world. He's throwing the big guns at them, Mohan Khan. That's not wide. It might have been a no ball, but it's certainly not a wide. Yes, I think this is, uh, well, I think he had to go, really. He's got to get some wickets. Show of actor at the top of his mark. Drive it on strike. Long run up. Oh, good shot. Beautifully played. Into the gap on the onside. Well, that'll go into the fence for four. And what's more, drive it as a result of playing that shot. Really will enjoy his drink. And there's that flick shot again. Over the top, he should have stopped that. That's going to get, oh, I don't know, was he Macram's labouring there a little bit? No, and I think it just got there. Yes, he looks to me as if he might have done something to his leg. He was limping, that's for sure. Oh, he's hit that one straight to extra cover, short extra cover. He was reaching for that one, and, uh, well, that's the wicket they wanted. They needed a breakthrough. Abdul Razak has got it. Very soft dismissal. Wideish delivery. May have been a slower ball as well. He had him reaching for it, and, uh, well, nicely caught. So, the end of Rahul Dravid. Out for 100, out uh, with a score on 111 for three. Oh, he smashed that. Take that. Take that, says Azza. Stirs him up with a bouncer. Gets Azza in a spot of bother. What does he do? He smashes him through the offside field for four. Beautiful shot. I think there's a little niggle going on out there, Greggy. I know he's coming out on top. You don't often see his face like thunder, and it is at the moment. Whack. Just a real accelerator. Look at the glare. And a misfield there. That'll get 50 for Mohamed Azruddin. Good running. It gives three more runs to the Indians, but a good half century by the former Indian captain. 125 for three. Akram one for 33, the pick of the bowlers. Shoy Bakhtar bowled some quick balls today. But unfortunately for the Pakistan bowlers, they weren't defending a big score. Catch it! That's in the air and taken. He was looking to chip it into the gap. Didn't quite get the elevation. And Arshad Khan has picked up a wicket here. But Mohammad Azaruddin has done the job for the Indians. 54 of 88 balls. A very, very important innings. Yes, uh, an extremely important effort and a good one from Mohammad Azruddin, making sure that India really wins this one comfortably. An important innings, stroking the ball in the air, just a little careless, and easily taken by Yunus Khan at mid-on. So he's gone for a well-played 54 of 89, and India lose their fourth wicket from 132. So Robin Singh has come out to replace Mohammad Azruddin. He's off the mark straight away. That one bounces and uh, he's hit that one through the gap. So there we are. That's the four we wanted. Into the fence she goes. Yes, the bowler's disappointed with himself. He got a couple to turn and bounce. And he just tried to put too much on that one and just dragged it down, which gave Robin Singh enough opportunity to get back, pick out his spot. You can see it turning away, but a nice slow pace. Just too short. Try to put too much on that one. Got the spin. But the length wasn't right. Oh, and a quick single. This could be a run out. And he's got him. Yes, he's run out. That serves him right. India really have created, made it so hard. There's a big collision out there. And that's unfortunate. 
However, Robin Singh resorting to a, a quick single in order to get out of what has basically become a bit of a farcical situation. Such a good player of the sweep shot, and uh, he's obviously hurt his shoulder as well. That's quite a nasty collision out there. Let's uh, see if we can see exactly what happened. Well, this was inevitable. Something would happen, and it's a very big, good pick up and throw. And you see here, Robin Singh not even in the picture. The bowler jumping out of the way of the throw, and then colliding with Robin Singh. I think both will end up okay. One's got it in the ribs and Robin Singh in the collarbone. Down he goes. But he's well out. 145 for five. Not before time. That's the end of the match. At last, India have finished it off. Well, perhaps there'll be a lesson in this for them at some stage. Pretty comprehensive victory, mind you, by the Indians today. The top order batted very well. And uh, any victory against Pakistan, as far as India is concerned, is a good one. Yes, they come back from a uh, very bad loss against South Africa. I think they really wanted to win tonight. And they've gone about it efficiently. A little bit of a farcical situation, four overs at the end. But uh, in general terms, they outplayed Pakistan. Pakistan batting uh, let them down very badly. So some happy supporters for India. They've got the two points. Shah Bakhtar, second fastest ball ever recorded. But uh, he's on the losing side.